Hello, everybody. This is Naked Poetry. Text Lewis Hawkins. I'm not completely naked, but I'm in boxer shorts. So, not that crazy about things. In any way, shape, or form. But I have a, a uh, poem, literature, essay type thing I'm going to read. It's called The Pretty Lights. It's written today on May 1st. And uh, I'm the writer of this thing. I'm going to paraphrase it the best I can. I'm listening to 99.3 FM. And uh, I'm going to read it as I've written it, as I can see it, as I can read it. And whatever words get in the way of it, as I'm reading it, happens to be the truth, I guess. You know, that's how it happens sometimes. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going. Welcome to my paradise. It's full of hope and wonder and good gargoyles, not by Disney. Pictures stir in the night, but I am not a creature of the night, except if my Betsy girl was running at high speed, and I'm not talking drugs, just high-test fuel. Paradise City where the girls are green and the, gr and the grass is pretty. Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. See, that's, we all know the lines from... Uh, um, Guns of Roses time and uh, Axl Rose and every once in a while I wonder if he messes that up. <laughs> He's drunk or stoned. <laughs> they off that stuff. You gotta be careful once in a while. You get fans everywhere. Anyway, um, it's my opinion. Where the girls are of age, uh, and then I continue. Well, the girls are of age to play with the mountains and the stars are bright regardless of their influence to their blight. Paradise City is the place I be with my kitties and doggies, and I can probably play with all those ladies with mountains so high for us to see. It's a place where Doug and Corey were my best friends in school, even though I never told them, but they were wonderful guys, staying at work and playing Legos and listening to music all night long. Billy Joel, Roxette, Wilson Phillips, Hart, and I learned about Chicago then too. Not the city, but the, the music. I learned about Chicago by Ferris Bueller's Day Off. We didn't see him in movies together. We just kind of see music a lot. Talked about girls. Girls, girls, girls. Anyway, Doug and I went to shoot pool at Joey's Pockets, and Corey and I would dream of bands together called the Georgia Satellites. But you see, that's a band. Maybe in Georgia. I've heard from them for a long time. I don't even know the music anymore. We dreamed of our, our band uh, that we were going to start called Satellites based on my car, my 1966 Plymouth Satellite that I bought, that I was bought for me when I was 16 years old. It was my father. Uh, and we were going to be the Satellites. For some reason, we didn't do anything about it, and we didn't even have a guitar. We just kind of dreamed about it. It never happened. But those dreams were in a junkyard for the glit and glitz. Lots of vehicles from Stabiles were there, but we always wondered about how they got there. Or at least I did. There was a Cadillac flower car and many other jewels of wonderment of gas and oil and lubrication style before we ever knew anything about electric cars. Other than the testing the waters type ones, we test the super coil invention type cars we have now in 2024. As Elon Musk guy, he's got his reputation from playing with kids, but... I don't know, I don't know why we talk, keep talking about him, but he's just hot shit. For some reason, these philanthropists seem to do a lot of things that are benign to the to the law, and they get away with it, but a commoner who touches a girl by accident can be thrown in jail. And we call it Skinner. Um, I was called a Skinner when I was admitting that I was a Cherokee Indian native by some people. I, it really pissed me off. I didn't get the term, but when well, you think I'm going to take out a machete and chop your head off, it's not like that. It would, never was. And if it was, it was on acid incidents. If it was, it was by other bands of Indians, that the good Indians that we know of in history like, didn't like, as far as I understand it, and that's ridiculous. Anyway, so um, I have other words, but it's not really worth it. Um... um but I wondered sometimes if this world was built on robots, technology, 
besides Autobots and Decepticons and Transformers stuff. I wonder, some things I learned about myself and the past, the parts of me might have had from uh, the Egyptian time. I had a moment when I was at the art museum a couple weeks ago, or recently, and I was looking at a cat statue, a bronze cat statue, and I felt like vertigo. I never felt as much before. I couldn't even remember that I went downstairs to, to be on the next level, the lower level. It's weird. It's like it's the moment I, I don't understand how to talk about it. I had a lot of anxiety. A lot of issues were going on then. And I'm new to anxiety. I don't have it that much. It really hurt me that day. Anyway, so... Well, anyway, so anyway, you know, I'm running for president one day, but right now I'm not really ready. But I'm not ready because my family and support aren't ready. But and again, maybe how do I establish my own party? Hot running party initiative group. And uh, maybe it's time to start it. Uh, I need 10 delegates, but I don't have anybody who's really on my side. Time's ticking away, and it's already May 1st. Uh, I said I'd reassess by June 1st, but. You know, it's a month away, so um, I'm rebuilding my housing situations. Uh, I'm rebuilding my life away from a divorce that's messy. And I've had paranoid thoughts of whether or not it's caused by my ex-wife, one, to make it worse, and ex-wife, two, to col collaborate with her, or collaborate with her. Here comes uh, Slash. I'm going to play for a minute. Anyway, so um, those are my thoughts, and maybe I'm running for president right now. Maybe I'll, I was running since 2008, and the people I know that I told are private to my life, and uh, they know who they are. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? Maybe no one knows who I am yet. Am I in the news? No. Why? Maybe they know better to leave me alone right now, so I'm not ready yet. Everything, but maybe it's the full announcement. Here it goes. I'm running for President of the United States of America for the 2024 election time for the 2025 seating. I'm fully religious. I'm a Presbyterian from birth, from, from uh, baptism. I stutter once in a while. I have a multitude of issues that plague me in my life, but I'm getting past them. I always have been past them. Uh, I've had trauma when I was younger, and uh, it was hypnotized out of me to, for me to forget about. Some of my friends deny that, but they weren't around all the time. They weren't. They didn't see everything. I didn't tell them these things because I thought maybe they knew from my mom and dad. I guess they never did. We kept our lives private in our family, and we just watched TV and listened to the radio once in a while during dinner, and we're a good close-knit family. Now we're all separated, afar, some to death, some to life. I don't know where they are. So, my name is Tex Lewis Hawkins, L-A-W-I-S Hawkins, and uh, kicked me into running for president with my own hot party, the Hot Running Party Initiative Group. Um, supposed to go by New Jersey standards of uh, 10 delegates to start my party, but I hope nobody gets it. So, maybe it's just how it goes, and I'm in Massachusetts, but the Commonwealth, and my, my idea is if I fail for presidency, then I go for governor of New Massachusetts or New Jersey or even Pennsylvania. And I go from that way. Just, I could live in both states or all of those three states. And from there, I'll run for president again in the future. But meanwhile, while I'm doing that, meanwhile, while I'm doing that, <laughs> I'm supposed to be Batman or Batman West, Dick, Dick Ward type years. Um, no, I just rebuild my life, or build my life in my Tex Motors division idea, and uh, hopefully people follow along. I have a shop in Leicester, or Leicester, that I want to go to, see if I can work that out as a deal. And uh, it's a converted uh, uh, fire department building into a shop, so uh, maybe it'll work. And I'll find something bigger, better, who knows. 
but I'm not seeing exactly where, so I don't really know where. But that's my ideas for the shop. And I have a buddy named Joe Salpy Jr. I might hang out with this summer, and we'll figure out the next level of fabrication that I know how to do. I've seen done. I know I can can do. I've done model cars, and I know I can figure it out. But I need tools and craftsmanship, and I can figure it out on my own. So I have to crank up the stereo and get the building. So I have all my supplies and everything ready. Um, so those are the ideas. That's where it goes. We're at 10 minutes, and I'm going to end this in a second. Thank you to my kids who are supportive, no matter where they are. Uh, I've got three boys. You know the names, Garrett, Corey, and Zachary. Uh, and I go on. Uh, birds are chirping. It's uh, 4.52 in the morning. And uh, this is my naked poetry. Thank you for listening. Peace be with you. And uh, enjoy the salad if you want to see the song label a little bit. <laughs> Have fun. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for your support. And I've got two people who vote for me. One knows who I am mentally and one doesn't. And she only knew so much. But anyway, it's not talking about it. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, John. And go forward. Bye. Peace be with you. And on we go.